What up guys, Tyler here. Today I'm going to take you through this flash exhibition. Come on in with me, let's go. On the left hand side, a huge Batman hair and the Batman mask. So impactful. Fourth round, we have got the Flash. Now the scale itself, because it's a huge statue, it looks really detailed as you can see already. And at the bottom, there are these lightning effects as well, which looks pretty darn cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Moving on, we've got tons of Batman suits. Like, look at it. It's so detailed and it's so varied. The classic suits at the back, for example, the 1992 one and the 1989 one, Michael Green Zero. Starting off on the right hand side, we've got the Batman Arctic suit. A lot of details, and I love the goggles at the top above the mask. Also, the silhouette, of course, it's in grey and a lot of clips and stuff. Gotham Guardian, which has some pretty dope ass wings, as you can see, and the mask is pretty cool itself. Moving on, suit from 1992. This one is from Michael Keaton's original Batman, I believe. Also, the modern suit 2023, a lot more silhouette on the torso part as well as the belt, as you can compare the two side by side here. Very sleek looking, and it's a good upgrade to the 1990s two suit that we see. Classic suit from 1989, the blue and grey suit. A lot of classic motifs, color wise, and it's just very vibrant out of all the suits. And also, the Kate Crusader, he's got some guns, posters. Pretty dope. At the back, we've got some print out of the Bat Armory. Looking cross. Oh my goodness, that's so many. Okay, we've got the Dark Knight Rises Tumblr, aka what we've seen in the third movie, Dark Knight Rises, with the Batman bike, i.e., the new one, and the Batmobile. That's so detailed, man. Look at all the inner lights and the front engine. Also on the back, back engine looks pretty dope ass as well. Oh, I like that thruster. I like that thruster a lot. Also the back wing from the, well, 89 or the 92 one, I can't remember which. Pretty detailed, although it's not one-to-one -one scaled, of course. You don't get a one-to-one -one scale. Looks pretty nice. Right hand side, we have the Batmobile from the Justice League. Of course, we've got the guns and turns on the front. Pretty cool. The missiles, wheels are protected, of course. Damn. These things up front, it looks really, really amazing because it's so detailed and it's gigantic. Now you can see part of my reflection here. This thing is huge, like half a body. Bat pod with Batwoman from the Nolan trilogy and also the Batmobile here. We've got the Batman here as well. The usual one to six scale. Very nice. Lastly for this cabinet, the bat with a Batman. Batman with Batman, the reflections in the way. Batman's right inside. This machine has always been one of my favorite designs. And there are lots and lots of good stuff from the Nolan trilogy. Moving on, we've got more Batman. So you're seeing this first hand. Let's go with the Batman modern suit first, the 2023 version in miniature form. Are you not as big as the one that we've just seen? Lots and lots of good details. All this upgraded from the OG suits, 92 and the 89 one at the back, but I do prefer the old ones, simpler times. Right, Batman Arctic suit, similar to what we've seen in, well, I think it's one to one scale just now. And this looks pretty sleek in a smaller form, a lot of details, a lot of Crackling hooks and gears. Left hand side, the Gotham Guardian. Of course, this one has the Focus wings. That gas tank mask really, really adds a lot of flavor to this one. Return suit, Batman Returns 92. Correct me if I am wrong. Simpler times, and the design is very, very simple for this time, but I think it does the job. It's clear, the yellow and the black really symbolically blends in well with each other. 89 suits. Here we have got more details and in terms of 
the mask and the torso area there are some damaged parts whereas the 92 one is more clean and crisp as you can see between the two this is a good comparison side by side blue and grey suit a lot of colors the vibrancy of the suit is uncanny nowadays we see it from a different lens Cape's Crusader suit here this one is with the hoisters and guns as we've seen just now in bigger form and the belt of course stands out well for this one that should cover everything for this cabinet thank you very much we have got michael keaton damn look at that it's scale pretty realistic and the suit really nice modernized 2023 suit and also we've got one more subversion here zooming in a bit for you guys you can see his wrinkles for the accessories classic mouse the different gestures of hands the additional gears etc and also we've got this bland version, boring version. Next to Michael Keown. This one is firstly exhibit here as well. First exhibit, firstly exhibit. Let's stay with Elsa's head sculpt first. These are physiques are good, depicting well of him. Additional hands and also human hands as well without the suit. Well, just one pair. Special edition bonus, life size the flash. Signet ring. I really like that chest light up piece. It looks really, really fantastic alongside with all the different flash lightning surrounding him. These effects are pretty good. One thing I don't like as much are the wires, as you can see. Side wires, it looks pretty good in terms of the scalp, the mask, the mask up area. There are lots and lots of subtle design imprinted on the suit, whether it's the helmet, the body. It looks fantastic. The dark flash. Look at the scalp. It looks pretty good. Head, crazy emotion. And also there's so much going on for the scalp. Batman Deluxe version. Now this one's cool because it's got the goggle statue at the side, which I really, really like. Love good details. Let's take what we've gone used to. Batmobile, dude, this thing is huge. Look at it. So sleek and also you can stuff your Batman inside. Should be spacious enough, I think. Batman and Bat Cycle. Now this suit is really cool in terms of the armor pieces, so lots of hexagon shapes. Although we don't get the full head scale, but the suit really speaks for itself and also the leg area looks pretty dope as well. Cape wise, bendable wires as usual, kind of navy-esque color time, sympathetic to the mask. Feature separate rolling eyeballs, interchangeable lower faces, and you can see more of those different mouthpieces here and the hand gestures. For the bike wise, articulated flaps, lots and lots of articulated flaps for this bike. Just this league, the Snyder verse. Let me show you guys the figures. We've got the Flash here, nothing's changed. The Batman, the Nightmare version. And Cyborg. Tactical Batsuit version Batman. This one's pretty good. Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman at the back. And also, in my humble point of view, the best Batman, Henry Cavill. Yes, of the best. Next to Justice League, we have Wonder Woman Special Edition. This one has a fantastic head scout. The uh, suit is a bit more vibrant than your previous versions, I think. A little bit glossier as well. Also, the Golden Armor version, as we've seen before. This looks pretty good in person, I think. Around the back, we've got the Suicide Squad, Peacemaker, John Cena, da, 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 da. loving the base. Suicide Squad, don't want to talk about the Suicide Squad. And at the back, Shark, Nom Nom, we don't talk about this one. Bye! Also, the Flash from The Flash. This one is more crimson in color and definitely doesn't look as good as the new one. New one just has so much going on. Suit wise, design wise, scalp wise, you've got a really, really good head scalp, but I mean, this one is okay for this time. And also, Black Adam. Scalp looks pretty good. Look at the rock. 
the event exclusive from Batman. Bats on the back looks pretty dope. I don't know what to make of this Batman. The color is a bit different, of course. It's in gray, and also you've got these light gray blue as well. Bats are pretty cool, but I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't really like the rest. I'm sorry. Accessories wise, guns, different gestures of hands, different gestures for the mouth pieces. And that's it, we have finished with this event exclusive. And also, aha, okay. So this one is the event exclusive for Wonder Woman. This one looks pretty bad as It's more matte compared to what we've seen just now. Loving the scalp, a lot of details on the shield as well. And on the back, all those just a simple acrylic piece where you bend together for the boots. Looks pretty simplistic and the color is a bit more matte as well. You don't get that much gloss. Also additional stands, different hand gestures. Overall, this one's nice. Cabinet, we've got Robin Benson's uh, The Batman. A huge piece of accessory, of course, on the left hand side with the light and a few guns, different hand pieces. I think I've shown you in a previous exhibition before, not gonna go over that. A few pieces of stairs at the base for the figure, and also just showing you guys the figure again since we are at this exhibition, similar to what we've seen previously. And so you can check out that video as well. Moving on to the side, there are lots of fantastic scalp as well. The armor is cool, and also the head scalp is cool as well on the side, and also a glimpse out the back is as well for you guys. Next uh, we have got the game versions of the characters, i.e. the Joker from the Asylum series, Batman from the Asylum series. This one has a shiny outfit. Can't remember which game this one's from. Love the gloss, love the design. I can't remember much of the night game because I've always been a fan of the second one, i.e. Arkham City. And we've got Batgirl here, dope as well from the Arkham Knight. Yeah, I'm not gonna go over these too much because they are old figurines. It's his suit at the back, usual chunky monkey Batman. The Arkham Knight at the back. Harley Quinn, that's Drake as well behind the Joker. This one is still one of the best Joker patrols today. The world exclusive. I don't know what these characters are, but in this Batman and Robin outfit, the bank very OG. Tom and Jerry Batman, blue and grey suit. Superman. I really like this Jerry Superman. This one in trick outfit for Jerry. Yes, it's Harry Potter. And this one is just the normal version of Tom and Jerry. A lot of cosbies, i.e. non-cost babies, because these are smaller and usually come in blind boxes. Michael Keaton's 2023 version of Batman, and that's it we've just seen. The Flash, Superman, and I think it's a 92 version of the Batman. Middle ground, we have this mystery version, which looks really, really cool. Loving the black prime colors, different suits and hand gestures, body gestures, whatnot from the suits that we've just seen. Quite like all of these, don't tempt me, hot toys, don't tempt me. Here we've got Nolan's trilogy. Well, the Dark Knight Rises to be precise. We've got Bane on the left hand side. These are ancient old. I'm not sure whether this Batman is the updated one, but this one still looks dope as hell in terms of design. It's sleek and very nice. And also Christian Bell's at the back, that armory, critic keys and a little wires at the back. Also the Catwoman as well. Next up, we've got the 124 scale. So this one, Batman Special Edition, Christian Bell's face. These are old, so I'm not gonna delve too much into these in terms of the details department, but you can see how fantastic they are, and also Heath Ledger's Joker. And they have not reissued this for the 1-6 scale, if I remember right. Final cabinet, we have got more one of Rose properties, i.e. 300. Leonidas himself. King Leonidas. This is Sparta. Also Pennywise from It. I've always loved the scout, the outfit. Everything is just immaculately done. 
and also with the sewer. So you've got this teeth up Pennywise in the sewers with Georgie's bowl. Come, Georgie, come. Left hand side, we have a uh, Vomitrix. Matrix Resurrections, we don't talk about this movie. I have absolutely hated every single part of that movie. The Matrix, yes, we do talk about that one. It is still the best. Despite being a 1999 movie, just gotta believe new. We don't talk about this as well. They really messed up on Grindelwald. The Fantastic B series is dead. Goodbye. Enter the dragon, Bruce Lee himself. Time to go into the shop area. People are there. Let's go with this rack first. We have got a lot of Flash toy bags, Batman toy bags. Also the Cosby collection, what we've seen just now. Where are they? Okay, these. We like the Flash and one or two of the suits, but not all of them, of course. Not like Spider-Man, Spider-Man, I love most of everything. Special version of uh, the Joker. I still got this one at home for the Cost Baby version. Some power bank and also bottles down. Some old stuff, the Cost Riders. And some of the Batman mug. On the side, Home Nolan's Batman trilogy. Also Batmobile plush. Oh, this one's, <laughs> this one's funky, man. It's like the baby and the beast. Love the classic unsold Cost Baby. Some classic characters like Penguin and also some Nolan Trilogy's Joker here. Up the top, more classics, etc, etc. You've seen before from my videos. I'm not gonna go through that again. T-shirt time with Cosby's, Cos Babies, and some baby t-shirts here. Batman, Flash here. Finally, we get to see some big rings at the bottom. We have got some Harry Potter plush. Flash, Batman, and also, ooh, cost babies. Right now, we've got the 92 version of Michael Keane's Batman, or the way 23 version. I can't tell. I cannot tell. Probably the 23 version. The Flash, pretty good. I would have loved them to add in more lightning effects for the feet area. But this one is okay nonetheless. And at the side, we have got that cool illustration. Next up, Michael Keaton's Unmasked version of, of the Batman. This one is always going to be a classic after this film because we all love Michael Keaton, do we not? Also, Cosby Collection. And let me do this shot again. So on the side, we have got the different variations of the bag, some glim and shimmer, the classic laminated of the different variations you can get from the box. For example, the Flash, Batman, and the Chrome version of that Batman we've seen from the cabinet, which looks dope. In the center of this cabinet, we do see that chromed up black version of the Batman, which looks pretty dope as. At the top, we've got the Flash and the Batman, different suits, la di da di da And that's it for this rack. My voice is getting tired. I'll tell you all the t-shirts at the bottom. Some Harry Potter cos babies. Well, cos bees, sorry. Yep. Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. Potter, Harry Potter. And at the top, we big versions of the Dark Knight Rises, Batman, and the Joker. Some older pieces. For example, from the Nolan trilogy, we have Two Face, the Dark Knight trilogy. Batman, Hot Toys exclusive, The Flash, etc. If you want some old shirts, buy. If you don't, then wait. Also, some Tom and Jerry from different properties, for example, Superman, Batman, etc. I'm not gonna go through that. You guys may not be really into those. And also, The Batman. I think I've unopened this one and this one before for you guys. Check out my previous videos. Also, we've got some stickers of the different areas of Batman, Batman characters, and The Flash, the newer movie. Coasters, keychains, whatnot. A lot of stuff here, and also we've got some umbrellas at the bottom. Also, some older characters. For example, we even see Johnny Depp's Grindelwald here. All the Batmans, Batman Forever and Robin as well. Arkham Knight, Batman, Batman Origins, King Shark at the top. Batman Light and DC Light. Mom and Jerry War. No, you can't stand in that.
Hope you've enjoyed this video and kindly like the like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. Check out my other videos as well. There are lots of people here that I need to get out of the way quickly. So until next time, watch my streams, watch my videos, and watch my previous videos as well. Bye now. Thanks.